Welcome folks, I am Technivorous and this is your Cure Questions answered. Today we have a user question and this was a comment left for me. It says, this was so helpful I have an additional question. When I've tried printing stuff from TikTok videos and whatnot, when I bring them into Kira to print, Kira seems to automatically fill in whatever is touching the plate. A good example of this is the collapsing katana file. I printed, it printed solid rather than allowing the blades to print. Any suggestion on how to fix that setting? Well, Austin Moore, I think we can help you out with that. So I grabbed this file. I have a pretty good idea of what's happening here. But before we do anything, there is another file included. And that is this guy right here, the Katana test print. Okay, so we're going to take that in and not the actual Katana. And the reason is, is because it's basically the bottom of it and and you, you're gonna print this and see how far apart you need to print the layers now you can't actually separate them but what you can do and here watch this let me okay my horizontal expansion this is the feature we're working with today okay um, actually I want to do one more thing because there's another thing that might be tripping you up so first where it says generate support no not support adhesion turn that off Oh wow, going all over the place. All right, enable print cooling. All right, calm down. Build plate adhesion. Right now it says skirt, okay? And that is going to put a line around the perimeter, but it's not gonna to be touching the model. If your model is set to brim, show you this real quick. Now when I go to preview mode, it'll show me my slicing path, and you can see that it's got this, this yellow line. That's the brim, and it is going to be one, two, three, however many lines thick around the outside perimeter of each object that it's printing, which means when it goes around the outside perimeter of these inside objects, it's connecting them together. So if you have that set, it's going to fuse the bottom layers of your print together automatically. Um, that shouldn't be too hard to just get a little razor blade in there and cut through that if that's your problem but you won't know that unless you know that you have a gap in here so what you're gonna want to do is print this test print okay should come downloaded with the file that you found if not I have it for you here it is thingiverse.com thing number three six three nine six nine three this is a collapsing katana print in place by 3d printing world and it was posted May 18th, 2019. It all collapses into the handle and it prints as one piece. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool print props to 3D Printing World. And we are gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. So right now you can see it is printing basically an inner and outer perimeter and one line in the middle for each of these blades, okay? Now, that looks like I'm gonna get a good enough gap, so I could go ahead and print this out. But what you're gonna to want to do if those parts are still fused together, first of all, let's take off our brim so they don't fuse at the bottom. Skirt will work, that will just put a line around the outside. You can put a raft under it if you feel like you're gonna have uh, adhesion issues, but uh, this is such a small print area wise that you shouldn't really need it. Although high speeds up at the top of this model with low attachment down here may knock it loose, so be careful with that too. Um, but you can see that skirt works a little bit better. It's basically just gonna purge some extra filament and get you all primed up. Um, what we're gonna do is go back to that setting I mentioned earlier, horizontal expansion. So if I take this and I do negative point zero eight, and I slice. and I get my preview again and you can now see that I now have two perimeter lines okay and I, I have a bigger gap in the middle now there's a better chance that these models won't fuse together while printing but they are going to be thinner as well so you have to keep that in mind you can't turn the horizontal expansion up too much or your item will completely disappear so let's try point negative point one six see if it takes us down to one line which I wouldn't print I would I would try it with three and see if it fuses without the brim and then uh, if you have to go down to two there with the negative horizontal expansion but uh, basically yeah see it takes it down to one line now that's gonna be very flimsy it's basically gonna print this all 
uh, as thick as you would find a print in vase mode, which isn't very thick. So um, that's basically it for my recommendations on how to deal with these parts fusing together. Uh, I would say that most likely it is the brim setting catching you up at the very tip of the model. If for some reason none of these fixes work for you, you need to go and check your first layer settings because if you're smooshing that too much, these first bot these bottom two can fuse together if it's getting smashed down too much. So you may need to raise up a little bit. But I would try these other things first because odds are uh, if you've gotten other successful prints that you know how to level your bed properly and are, are, are doing okay. So uh, if you have any other questions, leave them in the, in the comments down below. Uh, I'm happy to answer your care questions. I'll answer anything. Just leave it. I, I check my comments as often as I can, but uh, sometimes it takes a little while. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like.